what is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your seventh ECMAScript tutorial in which I'll be showing you something called like object literal shorthands you can say this is the name I just told you out of nowhere so this is not a technical term like object literal shorthand so don't ever use it in front of anybody well what this actually means is that with like if you create a function let's just say um, foods and favorite food and bad food and if you want to do like return favorite food is favorite food like that and bad food as bad food so what in EMCA 6 we can do is that there's a shorthand for this so many a times even I have used this myself like you have to write the property name as the same name as the variable which contains the value for that particular property so with ECMAScript 6 what you can do is you can just get rid of these so that literally means that you are referring it just like this thing right there so if you don't have a property assigned to a va variable then it would automatically if it, in a, it is in an object it would automatically interpret it like this so if I just run this if I var my food is foods um, burger and the bad food all right so let me think what I don't like well nothing so if I just console log my food and run it in the browser you can see that I get it perfectly like an object as if I have written it like this so if I do something like this as well you see I get the same result so that is a shorthand which might come handy when you are coding just to save a bunch of seconds for you but here you go for this new ECMAScript 6 feature and that's all for this one and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching